when it comes to the pound, the fact is that today's recovery is quite modest, okay? Uh, the pair has managed to extend briefly above that uh, 23 region, but it, it quickly came back. Uh, I'm not really seeing much of an aware corrective movement, and the fact that we, we remain below the highest, this is 40, 24, sorry, 80, the highest post that Wild plumped in early October, all right, uh, maintains the risk towards downside. I don't believe that this is sort of a line in the sun, right? The immediate resistance, however, is this 23, 30 price zone, which is to, um, October 12 highs. Uh, we need to get, gain that level to see a bit of more of an upward potential up to 24 and the 2480 region, right? We, we were talking. So, uh, not seeing much of a, a bullish case. And what I'm also seeing is that indicators have managed to create extreme rings without the pre price moving that much higher. So, that is usually telling us that um, the price will probably resume its life, right? The bearish trend here is strong, technically and fundamentally. In the daily, uh, I, I was saying that the RSI, sorry, was still in extreme over sold territory, so no much to do about this. It's extremely oversold, but the fact that it's below 30 and that there's no upward strength in here is telling me that there's no upcoming huge corrective movement underway, okay? I'm not sure if I mentioned supports, but the 22, 20 to 10 is the immediate one. If we lost that level, 21, 40, 30. 21, 30, 40, sorry, it's the next one, followed by 20, 90, 20, 80 price, so which is the lows we had uh, on October 11, right?